Hi, I'm uh, Chen Fang Wang from the Department of Physics of the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Our current research focuses on the plasmodical properties of our local mental structures, including their growth, their optical properties, and their assembly. We also work on multifunctional nanostructure materials for catalysis and uh, for solar energy harvest harvesting applications. Recently, we published a perspective paper on, on the general physical chemistry letters. The paper discusses about the effects of uh, plasmonic nanostructures on the fluorescence process. Many optical applications need a good control, excellent control of light absorption and uh, emission processes. For example, solar energy harvesting demands efficient absorption of sunlight and conversion of photon energy into electron hole pairs or thermal energy. Light emitting devices call for high outcoupling efficiencies and controllable emission direction and polarizations. Optical sensing and biological imaging require higher excitation and emission rates for detecting choice amounts of targeted species. These requirements have uh, traditionally relied on controlling light propagation and uh, focusing light using elements such as mirrors, filters, lenses, and uh, also photonic crystals. These optic elements provide convenient ways for controlling light and uh, focusing light. They have been used to make uh, lots of uh, optical instruments like uh, telescopes, optical microscopes, and uh, spectrometers. However, they have limitations. On the one hand, due to the diffraction limit, lenses and the mirrors or webguides, they cannot be used to uh, focus light to spots below the below about a half of wavelength. On the other hand, most uh, optical species such as uh, atoms and molecules or quantum dots, their sizes are on the order of instruments or at most a few nanometers. As a result, the diffraction limit seriously prevents us from uh, improving the optical measurement accuracy on the, in the visible spectral range. Local maintenance structures, which are extremely small with the sizes ranging from uh, several to several hundred nanometers, can exhibit uh, extraordinary capability to uh, manipulate light at the dynamic scale. They derive the unique optical properties from the ability to uh, support the collective electron oscillations, which is known as uh, low-class surface pattern resonances. There are several different kinds of optic species with uh, size smaller than the wavelengths of visible light. For example, uh, atoms, ions, organic fluorophores, uh, semiconductor corner dot, and the plasmonic nanostructures. Among all of them, the plasmonic nanostructures has the largest optical cross-section, which is even larger than their physical cross-section. We should notice that for almost all the other nano-optic species, their optic cross-section are much, much smaller than their physical cross-section. So this, is, this might be the reason why plasmonic nanostructures can have such a strong interaction with visible light. On the light illumination near the surface of the plasmonic nanostructure, the electric field can be largely enhanced. This enhancement is realized through a special redistribution of the optical electric field. On the other word, the plasmonic nanostructure can attract the optical field a little bit further to the vicinity. So the people always call them the concentration of electric field or the focus of electric field. A plasmonic nanostructure can also act as an analog of an antenna working at an optical frequency. A signal at certain frequencies can be selectively captured or sent out by a plasmonic nanotainer. In addition, the, the polarization state, the radiation direction, and uh, the emission spectra of the signal can also be controlled. Recently, control over light absorption and emission using plasmonic nanostructures structures is becoming enabling technology. It can dramatically 
enhance the performances of our existing optical and optoelectronic devices such as uh, solar cells, light emitting diodes, biosensors, and uh, high resolution fluorescence microscopies. However, to unravel the full potential of our localized plasmas, several challenges in this field need to be overcome in the near future. First, the ceramic model describing the overall interactions between localized plasmas and the fluorescent, fluorescent process needs to be verified experimentally. Second, the theoretical description on the energy transfer from uh, fluorescent molecules to a plasmonic nanostructures needs to be re examined. A few experiments have demonstrated the simultaneous control of our molecule nanocrystal spacings and the measurements of our single molecule fluorescent emissions. More efforts are still needed along this line. Ideally, one is to be able to position a single quantum emitter at an actually designed spacing, location, and orientation related to a plasmonic nanocrystal of an actually given size, shape, and moreover, one also needs to be able to measure the emission properties, including intensity, spectrum, polarization, and the special intensity distributions. Fourth, recent efforts on the use of arch fast laser passes to excite fluorophore plasma capital systems have led to many interesting phenomena, such as surface plasma amplification by stimulating the emission of radiation optical stux effect and high harmonic generation. Understanding and controlling of this uh, phenomenon requires new theoretical, new theoretical approaches which can describe the flow for plasma interactions in strong coupling regimes. We believe that overcoming these experimental and theoretical challenges will certainly expedite the progress of this field and lead to many exciting new discoveries in science and technology.